Okay, next what we're going to do is um, create multiple sources for our soft body, okay? Right now, we have one soft body that is coming down, okay? We want to create multiple. And I want to create one every 12th frame, okay? So how do I do that? Go into Dop Network, and in the source, in activation, type in um, $F percentage 12 equals equals to equals to one okay that means it's a mod it's a mod of 12 equals one so every time when it gets to the frame gets to 12 it gives you an output of one so whenever the output is one activate it for example if I were to disable the sim at 12 ah oh there it is 13 it's one 25 it's one etc etc okay all right that's good next thing is the emission type this is not going to work the activation is not going to work if it is on only once so it's got to be each frame okay so now let's try it there you go it's coming in okay and uh, it's quickly going to get in trouble because it's going to stack on each other and especially during the creation frame if there is another sphere right here it will be merged and the solver will consider them as a single object we don't want that okay so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this up a little bit more let's say four okay okay Okay, so we can safely say that it's working now, okay? So it's important also to note that at one, we have a soft body already, okay? We don't want that, all right? I want it from 12 onwards. So put in $F greater than one, Amberson, Amberson, that will then disappear. So it's gotta be more than one, okay? And then the first time it'll become one is when it's 12. There you go, that's better. All right, good. So now we have that, okay? And what does that mean? That means that we're going to get our hair or fur assigned to every single one of them. Well, at least I would think. The first one, second one, yeah. So everything is being assigned. I'm just gonna reduce the length of this line here, okay? Because it's too long. So as you can see, it's coming in, and it's coming in fine. However, if I go into this one here, which is the hair sim, notice that it's coming in, but there's nothing there anymore. Okay, that's because this needs to be set to every frame too. But the problem here is that let's set this activation to the same as before greater than one and dollar f percentage 12 equals equals one okay so technically what should happen is every 12th frame it should create hair for the incoming geometry okay well wow, that's taking quite a bit of time um so let me change this for a second first of all let me go out of here and reduce this remesh i'm going to bring this considerably down one six okay so or two even for that matter there you go okay so we can play with it quite a lot all right so inside here now let's run it again there you go something is happening but it's got into severe errors and something's also happening with that uh, it's a lot of problems so basically the bottom line is it's not going to work if you do it like that all right it's just not going to work so the first problem is every time this solver gets activated which is every 12th frame it will try and create fur for us or hair for us okay so the first 12th frame we've got this one ball and the 24th frame we've got two balls this first ball that i created 
here for still exists. So what happens is that it creates for or here for that again. So in the 12th frame, it created for this. In the 24th frame, or 25th frame, it's creating it again for both. That's no good for us. Okay, so that's your first problem. The second problem is that it is match animation. That's no good because the animation is now too complex for it to handle from the outside. So you need to uncheck this and let's try it again. So the fur or hair will will form, but it'll get stuck because of the static collision object. And it's pulling it down, and the second one is being created, and it's third one, etc. etc. To solve this, let's put in a vellum constraint here. Okay. And let me put in um, pin to target and match target animation. Okay. And the group will be points. And on the 12th frame, we will get that information. So pins. Okay. Also, we will change this to uh, each frame. Okay. Right. Let's try it again now. Let's see what happens. We still got a similar issue going on here. Okay, so no matter what I did, it's still a problem. So let's change this to the same way. And and dollar f percentage twelve equals equals one. Okay. So don't activate every frame. Activate only every twelfth frame. So that looks a lot more stable. But again, it's doing exactly the same thing as before. So um, to change that, I'm going to disable match target animation here. Okay, let's see if that makes any difference. So that's not made any difference. So that's okay. I'm gonna check that back in, and I'm gonna change it to creation frame here. Okay, so it only acts one frame at a time, and that's about it. And it's the same problem here again. So basically, no matter what you do, it seems like it's not working. Okay. Uh, so let's change the orientation to none. Same issue. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this pins here on the outside. Okay. Completely ignore that part. On the outside, it's supposed to be not connected to anything. But on the inside, it will then pin itself to the target. Okay, so let's see here what happens. I'm showing you all this so that you can you can see what what happens every time, um, you know, when a sphere is created. This is what happens, and it keeps attaching itself to the other one. Okay, and that's not very good. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you gotta have to try and remove what's coming in and what's not. You know, it's just gonna be an absolute nightmare to deal with. Okay, so that's out of the way now. Let's move on to the um, way I would like to create it, or I created it. Okay, using single sim and get the job done. All right.